In this tutorial, I will be going over the scenes and queues fading options. So, in all the scenes and queue boxes, I can easily edit the fading time. Simply by double clicking at the top of the box where it says fade. And that lets me edit over how many seconds the scene will fade. And by default, the fading type is set to a linear fade. But so if I open the cog wheel, I can edit the fading time here as well. And I can also change the fading type. If I have this second scene set to 5 seconds linear fade, when I play it, watch how the Y cells parameter, how it fades in a constant speed. And then, in the first scene, I don't have any fade set to it, so when I play it, it just snaps in an instant. But now let's try to fade with ease in and out. And as you can see, it's slow in the beginning, and then it moves a little faster in the middle, and then it slows down again towards the end of the transition. And we can also change the strength of the curve here. So if I increase it to 5 and then play that cue again, see that the fade is even slower in the beginning and then moves even faster in the middle and then goes even slower at the end again. And then ease in means that the curve is set in the beginning of the transition and then has no curve at the end and ease out is the other way around. And in this third queue, the Y cells will be going back to 1, and there is also a color change. And let's set the fade to a linear fade over 3 seconds, and then we can navigate to the color parameter in the inspector tab. And so by default, all parameters are set to the same fading options as the queue or scene. But we can also set a local transition for the individual parameters. So, let's set the color to fade over 6 seconds. And so, then when I play this cue, you see that the cells fade over 3 seconds, while the color fades over 6 seconds.